Toto. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. We're doing a Cap Rock Nature Loop, three tenths of a mile. So it should be pretty easy. Let's try it here and see. Oh yeah. It's just a short little thing here. It's starting to cloud up here. So in the land of little rain, except it's been like a flood here recently. So uh, not today, that's for sure. All right, pretty easy trail. Here they got a bench. Hey, they should put the benches on the hard trails. This is an easy one. It's only three tenths of a mile. You don't need a need a bench, but hey, maybe you want to warm yourself. Oh, desert almond. Eh, don't see any almonds. Don't smell any almonds either. Oh well, eh, getting into some rocks up here. A lot of big, big rocks here in Joshua Tree National Park. Looking down there. So a lot of little placards because this is a nature trail. About different things here. Oh, the Mormon tea. Yeah. Dispensed with leaves entirely and carries photosynthesis fruit production in the green stems. So yeah, the stems are green down here. A little hard to see. All right, no leaves, just stems. All right, sounds like topping for a pizza. No leaves, just stems. All right, look at those rocks. A lot of rocks up here today. All kinds of rocks. Getting back into here. This easy trail, it's time-wise is 130 microhabitats. And uh, some clouds coming in here. It was getting warmer earlier when there was lots of sun, but now we get a cloud come over and it gets a little chilly then. So I took the heavy jacket off and just put my little woolly thing and my little windbreaker on. It's good enough. Awesome. And then Joshua is right along the trail here. So maybe we'll see some further back here on this uh, nature trail. I think it said Cap Rock. Did it say Cap Rock Nature Trail? But I think this is supposed to be Cap Rock. Where's the cap at? Is it up top there maybe? I don't know. All right. Just keeping on the trail. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Another split over there. This guy just split right in half. I'm going to take a look at that. I'm going to take a look at that here. See that? Cleaved right in half there. They just separated. It's hard to see. You know, I'll put the camera in there. Maybe it'll lighten up for you in there. I don't know. But yeah, just split. Oh, these rocks just split. That's why we had that. There's another fault line in there too. So we had that uh, other trail I took earlier called Split Rock. There were lots of split rocks there. The big one I was looking for, I mean, you could see it from a distance, but there was another one where it was just like sliced with a saw right in half. But I didn't find that one here, so. All right, let's come up here. I guess I'm getting a little, little shade now here. And, uh, has some pretty good battery power here. Galetta grass. Uh, wide spacing. That's where I'd like to live, where I have my own wide spacing. But uh, such is not the case. I'd like to have five acres. I only have just about a quarter of an acre, maybe not even that. Trail takes a little bend here by this huge, huge rock here, gigantic rock. Humongous rock. Here, I put my hand on underneath it here. All right, holding it back. All right, the strength of Atlas here. Holding up the world. All right. A little wet down here. Yeah, all the low spots. Wet from those rains last night and the other day too. Some lichens. Another bench if you're tired. Hardly walked anything, but Got a bench, another big rock here too. Look at this big guy guy here. Oh, I see a rock up ahead. One of Joshua trees, dead or alive here. Living or dead. Large roll in Mojave ecology. Yeah, termites, etc. etc. So it's a good use. And I see this rock up there. Maybe that is Cap Rock. 
but it's like maybe there's a cap on top of it not a cap like a hat although maybe some people think that it is i don't know that could be cap rock i'm not sure taking a guess wild guess at that so we shall see had a big water hazard i had to climb around back there so here's some more of these little things that are taken out of the rocks over there these different things there's a little side trail here that you know, look at this how this rock is here there's some up there they're just sitting up there let's see take a look at this rock here interesting rock oh uh, yeah all of the sides look like like mushrooms or something here as you come around here yeah kind of look like that but there's the rocks on the trail as you're coming up here and the trail is back up that way and uh we got more of our Joshua trees. The parking lot's right over there. So like I said, this is not a, not a long trail here, but got to get back with the trail here. All right. Well, they got a big map posted here of the park. And right now we are at like Cap Rock right about there. I came in this morning up through here, came down here, hiked this trail here in Split Rock stopped at Skull Rock. I think I stopped at Jumbo Rocks too. Did some hiking there. Not much to see at Skull Rock really. Jumbo Rocks. Yeah, I, I think I did that trail there. And then came back up here. And what did I do after that? Uh, I went up to Barker Dam up here. Hiked that trail. Didn't go up to the mill. That's another trail. I might be able to take that another day. I think I did this loop here or something. Then came back here and I did this Hidden Valley Trail here. And I stopped at Minerva Hoyt. I just walked out in the wilderness a little bit. I didn't see that trail, but I wasn't going to take it. Now I'm down at Cap Rock and I might drive down here a little bit more to see what I can see before heading back. All right.